If you want to crop an image in InDesign, you need to work with the frame of the image. So I've brought an image in here. I'm going to assume you just have an image in your document, whether you've dragged it in or gone up to file down to place right there. So place or command D or control D if you're on Windows will quickly allow you to just select an image and place it into your document. So I've got an image in here. Now an image is basically hidden underneath a frame or there's a frame showing the image kind of like a window you can adjust the size of that window into your image so if we click on this not on this circle just click on this here you've got a blue outline around here it's kind of hard to see but it's there and you have all these handles if we start to click and drag on a handle it crops our image just like that and then we can click on this and that allows us to move the image underneath the window right so if maybe I didn't crop this correctly, I can actually bring the image up. You can see the red outline, which is my image, and I can adjust how the image appears underneath that window or frame. Now, what if I wanna crop it into some other shape? Yes, I can use this to crop this frame around, or pretty cool, like you can size the frame first and then right click and actually go to fitting and you can tell it to fill the frame proportionally fit the content proportionally so if we fill the frame proportionally it's going to fill the frame with the image and scale it proportionally so not skew it and then i could bring it down a little bit if i need to so you could size your frame first before you size your imagery and then just fill images into frames but if you create a shape or if you create another frame there's actually a frame tool let's go ahead and create a shape I'm going to create an ellipse or a circle just by clicking and dragging and holding shift. Let go. Okay, it's a little bit maybe impossible to see. So we could maybe add a stroke to that circle. One point. There's our circle. All right, so we have this circle out here. And it's actually just a shape with a stroke on it. What we can do is put an image into this. And so create a frame out of this and just make this circle the window into our image. So if we select this image, we could hold command or control and press C to copy. We could right click, copy or cut, anything like that. And then we can click on this shape, right click and do what is called paste into. And paste into will paste the image into this circle frame. And we can move it around. We can actually size the image up and down. Make sure you hold shift at the same time. You could also hold option or alt and it's gonna size it proportionally from the center of the image. And so once we get it in there, we can move it around just like that. Now, one thing to be aware of, when we created that stroke, it actually kept the stroke on the frame. So we can add strokes to the outside of our frames. You know, if you had a fill in there, it might show some of the color if the image doesn't cover it. We can also just get rid of the stroke. So we wanted that there so we could see our frame, but now we could get rid of it and not have a stroke around that. So you don't have to have one. But this is still just a frame or a window into the image, just like this frame up here. Cropping images in InDesign is really easy. And all you have to do is adjust the frames and you can even create your own frames any vector shape out here whether you're using the pin tool and creating some kind of custom shape you can just insert your imagery into those shapes and frames and they become little windows in which you can view your image and crop your images here in adobe indesign